Baker, now, if you've ever been to see a musical in the theatre, chances are it was produced by tonight's guest. I'm off. He's, I'm off. <laughs> He's the off. most successful <laughs> producer. It's too low-key. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'd like you to redo that one. <laughs> Sir Cameron McIntosh, of course. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Oh, Great. Matt, what happened with the so, fell off. It just fell off. That's, that's <laughs> live. That's theatre for you, isn't yes. it? That's theatre. That's so, theatre for you. So, yeah, so, Cameron, obviously, production's all over the world. Let's have a quick world trip. World and what's trip. on where? What, this week? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, for know? me, for me, yeah. I thought you were about to do another film. Oh, no, 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 no. What's on where with well, the musicals? Well, uh, last night I was in Bristol um, uh, doing the standing room uh, only um, shirt production of Barnum, which is yeah. with Brian Connolly and Izzy Haightley. Fantastic. I go to uh, Vienna. We're going to talk about for, Barnum later. Yes, we are. Yeah. And I went, go to Vienna on next week for the opening of that. We've got... Saigon and Les Mis in Australia, Korea, uh, South America, America. I mean, there's so many countries around yeah. the world. I mean, I have about probably uh, 30 productions running simultaneously at the moment. But I've only got to open three this week and do a gala on Monday. <laughs> um, it's an easy yeah, week yes. for you, then. <laughs> it's an easy yeah. week. <laughs> well, as I said in that film, 14,000 people somewhere in the world will yes. be watching one of your productions. Yes. And Cameron, as we heard, can pack them in all over the world. But if you're in a drama group and you're staging a musical this weekend, send us a picture of your production, tell us who you are and where it's on, and we'll give you a big, massive plug at the end of the programme. Yes, if anyone can sell a show, <laughs> This man can, so please do get in touch with the usual I hope he's producing one of my shows, too. Cameron, <laughs> the brilliant Miss Aigon is celebrating 25 years. Now, it was in the West End, it's come back very recently, but you describe it as standing on musical razor blades. Now, why is that? And give us a bit of background for people well, who haven't I mean, seen it. Where that remark came from was actually the first time that um, Alain Bibiel and Clomachel Schoenberg, who wrote it, gave me the the demo and it was all sung in french which i'm not particularly fluent in but listening to it and understanding the story which is mm -hmm. of course set in the vietnam war the end of the vietnam war of, of a, a disillusioned so soldier meeting a bar girl who has to you know sell herself in order to live and they fall in this improbable place in in life in in love and it gives him a reason to hope they fall in love and then they get separated mm -hmm. by the terrible withdrawal of the Americans um, and uh, it's what happens to them and indeed he gets he thinks she's dead she get he's he goes back to America marries an American girl and then they come and discover that they he had a son yeah and so it is a tragic story of, of the greatest human sacrifice which is a mother of her child mm -hmm. but from a producer's point of view when you talk about that razor blade is it gonna work is it not and well, it wasn't what? about whether it's gonna be work if the point is we were doing a major spectacular musical mm -hmm. but it's a very rare musical it's like West Side Story and indeed recently Billy Elliot mm -hmm. which is based on a real story it's about real people's lives the story of Miss Saigon is just a distillation, distillation yeah. of many many terrible stories yeah. like that which since we did it originally in uh, 25 years ago of course now we're seeing in Syria, Ukraine, Afghanistan, the Middle East. This, it could, we could have set that story anywhere. And I think that's one of the reasons that the audience uh, is much younger and completely in it. And I, so I, engaged you know, yeah. with the, with the well, it, It's more emotionally powerful. Now, not a dry eye in the house when that production finishes mm. there without giving it away. But there's a gala performance on Monday. Yes. Um, which 100,000 people applied for tickets I for? I believe so. In a few minutes, so, <laughs> but they you, all went. You've got some good news for, for hardcore well, we fans have, we have got, We've got it. some seats which will go. we can put back on sale um, uh, on, in, the, in the morning. Uh, I think we've got 100 seats or something like that right. left for anyone who's still really desperate can queue up at the Prince okay. Theatre. But if you can't get into the theatre, you yeah. can hear it. You can hear it. Now, that's... Um, gosh, you're very good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's going out on Radio BBC two. Radio 2. Yes, with Michael awesome. Ball. By the great and wonderful Michael Ball. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, therefore, uh, you know, everyone in the country will be able to take part of the special evening, which yeah. I'm doing one of my special great finales, and, uh, and I'm so thrilled that Lea Salonga uh, oh. and, and the great Jonathan Price are going to come back and join our wonderful stars. Yeah. Um, and, of course, with Simon Bowman, the original Chris.
but and, and just very quick, just a word on people getting out to see theatre because it really feels like mm. regional theatre now is incredibly vibrant. Are you finding that with your touring productions? Because Barnum's absolutely. On tour, well, Barnum just opened in Leicester last week, and, and we've got fantastic reviews. And Brian Connolly is just fantastic as as P.D. Barnum. And mind you, I wonder if one day. Um, when we've, he's finished with it, you might be in Well, <laughs> well I was. A little birdie can't <laughs> say that now. That you started <laughs> off uh, as a gymnast. Well, I did, and yes. And an acrobat. <laughs> yeah. uh, has anybody got a wire we could put on? Or maybe you could come. I tell you what, why don't well. you come and we could test you out? Yeah, Cameron, all right. All right. You'd be rather good. Ah! <laughs> good. Here we go. Miss Saigon is on the Prince Edward Theatre. Uh, very now. 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 There we go. I've done the trail and a hamster. That's a sucker born every minute. <laughs> 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 I wonder who will be singing oh, that in Scotland tonight. Well. Yes. Um, now, Brilliant. Cameron has made some big gambles in his time, and arguably he's taken one by casting an unknown in the lead of Miss Saigon. Now, she's just 18 years old, and amazingly, this is her first professional role. Please welcome the lovely Eva Nobozada. <laughs> so, Eva, tell us your story. How did you end up with the role? What were you doing this time last year? I was in high school. Oh, I were was... you? Senior year, I was wondering what college I should go to, mm -hmm. and there's this amazing um, competition called the Jimmy Awards that they do in New York every year, where it's an amazing event that really showcases young talent in America. Um, and I was one of the finalists in that, and I was able to sing um, with you from Ghosts and Musical, and the casting director of that show was in the audience, so she pulled me aside after and said, I need your contact information. I have the perfect audition. And I was like, all right. Okay, <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. So how intimidating was it then, though, to audition in front of Cameron? <laughs> that was... She was as cool as a... Was she, actually. really? It was amazing. She just came in and, and she just did what she is. She made, she's so special, you know? And there you are. We can see her audition. And then... From that to the stage in London. Yeah, well, it first was in a room, you know, with a lot of other people, and we did that, and I was went, I can't believe that someone who's never been on the stage before, um, and even though she's the same age as Leia was at the same time, but Leia yeah. had been a star since she was the age of eight, and then I said, let's try her in the Majestic Theatre on Broadway, where Phantom is running, and she went, and went on the stage, and she just looked wow. so much at home she was at home and we went the gods of the theatre have been brilliant <laughs> well we are going to yes. experience that we this are evening. because you're going to do your first live performance on television for us this evening yes. we're very lucky thank you so much now another of cameron's leading ladies is elaine page who starred <laughs> in cats and became one of the biggest names in musical theatre yes like, cameron, this is your life cameron there you are <laughs> <laughs> where did you get that from <laughs> <laughs> Her life began only 10 miles away from the West End, but a world oh. apart from its glitz and glamour. This is Eva Noblezada singing I'd Give My Life For You from the brand new Miss Saigon. Here she is. You who I cradled 